Hi, this is Mia. This is one of my least favorite times to make a video. Um, I didn't even, I mean, I did notice the spots, but I really noticed them in the video. Um, these lights make it look like we're in a spaceship. Um, this is a check-in video. I have felt this way dozens of times um, when I was staying with my partner at our old, at his old place, I should say, um, which was basically one room and a bathroom. And I have a lot of problems when it's that time of the month and it's gotten even worse as I age. And um, when I got my booster, my menses stopped and then I got COVID in January and then it started again. Um, when they stopped, I had severe left abdominal pain, whereas I was about to go to the emergency room, and I don't like emergency rooms, and I try to tell my counselor or whatever, he doesn't pay any attention to me most of the time, um, that you would risk, not like, you would risk your life. Anyways, because you've been treated poorly in the past and you're trying to hire someone to help you. Oh, I forgot about this flower pot, by the way. You're trying to hire someone to help you with your mental health and fears. But I've experienced decades of disparity and abuse and racism with healthcare providers. And it's almost like... It hasn't gotten any better, let's just say, I want to say it's gotten worse, but it's pretty much been even keel. It's just been super abusive, painful. You go somewhere, and you get something done, and it's painful. You expect it. But you don't expect them to yell and scream and pry in your teeth and do this and, like, threaten you and all this stuff. Like, whereas you are in tears, and you're begging them to stop. And if they weren't holding sharp objects and scalpels and stuff like on or in your skin, you would have already darted out of there and contacted their supervisors. But then you get to the point with, oh my God, I think they're going to harm me. They're going to break up my teeth. They're going to break up my um, cervix. They're going to break up my breasts. Like, you're just like, I've been raped multiple times. You fight. You scream, you're like, no, you're like, stop. They keep doing it. Sometimes, then you just lay there and cry. And watch them. It's exactly like rape. But it's not touching, well, I, I have had a touch, depending on the medical procedure. And you just sit there and cry. And you look at that look in your eye, just like a rapist. It's about power and control. It's about power. I have power over you. And you're not going to stop me. And you can't do anything. And I'm going to get away with it because it's my word against you, Blackie. I just, I felt sick. There was a criminal, not criminal minds. There was a law and order special victims unit. One of the rape, rape ones where this young adult, I think she was a, still a child, was raped. And she had an orgasm while she was being raped. And she felt guilty. It's like, no. The lady was like, hey. This is your body. There's no reason to feel guilty. You were, That does not mean you were enjoying it. And I just, I watch those shows. In fact, I think I'm going to go watch that and get on my meeting because I'm going to be up all night at this rate. Um, going back to you, every time since I've been clean and sober that I wanted companionship with friends, with people in 12-step meetings, with people from my church, with men and relationships, whether it was dating or partnerships or even when I was married. And I would get neglected for my needs, but yet give all to them and be... feeling like a slave. It's all about... You're this warm body who's going to go do this thing. Oh my god, there's an ant up here. Um, <clears throat> hold on. There's a 
just make a bunch of ants appear. There was a bunch of ants. Let's just like these things on here. Oh shoot, it just fell. Um, I have to clean this whole. I I was so tired, and I was doing stuff for taxes, and I was doing stuff for this loan signing thing that I did on Friday that I had a bunch of paperwork that said it needed to be turned in. Well, some of it needed to be turned in by next business day, which included um, something that served as an invoice. Um, so, let me pause you and go and do this laundry haul. So I changed the subject. This place, this whole room needs to be cleaned. Or change the subject and show you that I got this water, which I don't like getting because it's too big and likely to go flat. It does have sodium bicarbonate. Oh, I didn't know it had salt in it. Potassium chloride. I didn't know it had potassium. Oh, because it's like a regular flavoring. Um, what was that? You get that regular bottled water. It has to. I know it had potassium. I shouldn't have gotten this. Anyways, I'm gonna go look at the other one. I had a deja vu today um, at this Mexican American store, and in the deja vu. In the first one, like that dream or whatever, I it was just this week. I was talking to my partner and looking at this frozen stuff, ice creams and stuff, and I said, "Oh my gosh, I have deja vu." And I was staring at this one thing and looking at the other thing, and then the dreamish thing. He was like, "What?" I was like, "Oh my gosh, I have deja vu." He's like, "What?" Like not paying attention. And so, right now, or when it happened earlier today, the. The, the part like, oh my gosh, I've seen this vision before. I was totally like, I'm not going to say anything. And it's really weird. like Because this happens to me at least, I'm saying, thinking every four days. Hold on. But yeah, with life, I'm just rolling with the punches. Um, I, I sometimes really just like Bible verses when it says, they slap you on one sheep, let them slap the other. You know what, if they take your... Do they take your coat, let them take your shirt too, or something? Uh, forgive your whatever person. Was it 40 times 40 or 70 times 70 times? Shoot, I did that with my dad. I forgive that. Like, I was like trying to do that math. Um, but yeah, I shouldn't be awake right now. I was so tired all day. And when I don't feel listened to or appreciated or loved, I tend to steer towards doing work because I am so depressed and I'm just making all my food right now. I made, I've been making these my bananas. They're either really green or really yellowish brown. I've been smooshing out the bananas and sticking them in with a little nut butter, walnuts, fruit, like frozen fruit, and um, today I put pecans, uh, some honey a little bit of salt. I put oil in there this time and I poured the liquid cinnamon stuff um, from my whatever I was making with cinnamon, the nuts, which I've been using like the same jar twice this week without washing it, which I also did with the ice cream thing because there's nowhere to put clean dishes. I still got to wash everything because of COVID. Um, I'm going to talk about COVID for a minute and I'm going to go back to how I feel unappreciated and that I, I'm going to call him Papa Jose. Papa Jose would say, if you're not happy in a situation, get out of it. And if something's wrong with your life, it's your fault. There's a job posted for peer support, not peer support, yeah, peer support. You have to be able to do, within two years, be a peer support for the state. Um, I'm considering doing it. I've, it's like a block away, literally, like, literally across the street. I mean, you gotta go, you gotta go down, like, another half block, whatever, but maybe even a whole block, but still, whatever, it's so close. Um, I'm about to do this, apply for this, and do, do nothing else, like, not even my medical 
like just let all my licenses disappear don't renew the notary anymore like enough is enough just get if you had to work and drive all these places and be driving from here to there to there for an hour and a half and drive here for an hour an hour and a half and you're doing two hours here two hours there you're better off getting paid less and sitting somewhere eight hours than I mean but that's what I don't want to do I want to be able to have a flexible schedule and say okay I'm gonna drive here 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 that day I'm gonna drive nowhere that day oh, but it's getting to be where I'm just overwhelmed I never had a set schedule as an adult um as far as schedule being a student you have a schedule for that 12 weeks but you also Say you have that class Monday, Wednesday, and you have lab on Friday or whatever. But then what happens next time? <laughs> you got like a different schedule. It could be similar. Like oh, classes are usually seven thirty to eight at night. Like so, it's not like that itself is another ridiculous thing. Because then you're doing twelve hours, um, seven days a week. We were I was going to school seven days a week. Um, I feel like I'm getting eaten alive by something. Um, I'm really glad that we have more space. This place is so messy that I can't even show you. Um, I think it's already like almost midnight, so um, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna write out my taxes, I guess, and see what W2s that I do have, and stick the copies in my folder if anything, and then um, maybe I didn't own enough to get it. 1099 miscellaneous, you got to earn over 600, right, to get a miscellaneous. Um, going back to the deja vu, I was so tempted just now to, in fact, I'll do it. I was so tempted to just do a, watch somebody else's, um, excuse me, <coughs> horoscopes, and I didn't. I couldn't find Berkshire Hathaway. I was looking at their houses the other day because there's one near my work. There's not many in this area, and I couldn't, I was like, how do I log into my insurance? Like, they're so old-fashioned, you can't even log in to see your insurance that you have through them. Um, and it's by Burke, I couldn't remember the name of the company. So, let's look at Horoscope, and we'll give these people credit. Um, I used to call my friends like this when I couldn't sleep because I didn't feel my needs were being met, and that I was... It's like walk, watching someone go from their car to a door and walk uphill in the mud with all these boxes and crates and baskets all over and backpacks and they're like dropping stuff and books are falling and stuff, they have a coffee cup and stuff's falling and breaking and you just sit and watch them and you're just playing a game watching the sky go by, you're not obligated to help this person, but it's like, I feel like the person always carrying this burden, and I get to the door after I dropped half my stuff, I have to go back and pull it out of mud puddles, and dogs are peeing on it, and people are stealing it, and I get to the door, and I'm trying to open the door, and have to take this stuff in, and walk it up the stairs, and I can't leave it, because it's already starting to get stolen, and I open the door and all the half of it falls down all over and the boxes break open and I get paper cuts and everyone just is like, wow, what a freak show. Like, I've, had, I've literally had stuff like this happen where I've fallen and dropped stuff and everyone just looks at you like you're, like, I don't want to say you have an axe sticking out of your head, but look like you're about to put one in your head. They're just like getting out of your arm. Oh gosh, a big commercial just popped up and I was not... I did not click on anything, so that's weirding me out. Like, literally did not click on anything. Maybe I did. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, make sure no noise comes on this thing. That's what I'm afraid of. So, I end up um, feeling like that every day. And... Strangers, fine. Relatives, okay, jerks. But then the closest people in your life, then you're just like, <clears throat> like, so I've had this time where things didn't go my way physically, my body, 
puff so hard and everything, and I would have these really intense visions while I slept that would help me get through just feeling like it's a gift. If you Do you understand, like, this is not, it could be, I reference Buddhism and Christianity, even uh, Muslim um, faith, or sorry, yeah, like, Ramadan is right now. I am feeling like it's a gift from the universe, from the cosmos, that's coming in almost like an orb, like, whoosh, sticking to my heart in a good way for once, like, like, one, for once it's a good thing, and angelic, like, not, like, churchy angelic, but just, like, nature, like, fairy angelic, and elves, and stuff, what is this piece of paper, it's going in the freaking shredder, is what it is, um, I got some new clothes that were used, I think, in 2020. I don't know if it's from Thread Up or from Goodwill Auction um, bundles. No, it wasn't Goodwill Auction. It, okay, it was. I think it was a Thread Up rescue and a Goodwill blue box. That's it. I can't find the Goodwill blue box. I can't find the other one. I have a bunch of men's shirts and stuff. I have no idea where it is, but whatever. I tried something on my did that the other day and I'll itch you. So, here's the thing, guys. Um, I'm gonna read these guys' horoscope if I can. <sighs> Give them credit. Astrology.com. They do have a little bit by Nysa Graza. Gradsta on the sky today, 5 o'clock. Moon is trying Pluto. 6.51, I don't know which time zone, Mars is conjunct Saturn, um, I'm gonna click on mine, and I'm not gonna read it yet, and I'm, hopefully no noise comes on, or this whole thing is going to bye bye so I'm just gonna hide it, so I don't see it, um, I forgot the second part I was gonna talk about, notary, <laughs> um, I'm devastated, I'm in tears, um, all the people that I thought were my friends from the east, from the west, everywhere, just don't give a crap. I told some people I was supposed to be back home, and I had to delay that because you've seen the price of gas and plane tickets and everything. I kind of forgot that it was off-season, I should have gotten that stuff way in advance. Um, I did this survey today and it was having this really skinny white girl with a halter top like a kind of like a camisole um, and she had these hairstyles that end up with this really long straight flowy um, kind of thick hair and end up like in a dress and it made me feel super uncomfortable and it, I guess because maybe because I said I was a woman that played games on my phone and, and and other mobile devices that it was targeting the name of all these like glamour type and I don't know about house um, like those building games and I felt so awkward watching this and thinking of wow she's like got a waist like this and this hair and this light skin and this body and I can see her bare midriff. Like, I was just really uncomfortable. And people will say, hey, are you jealous? I'm like, no, I'm I'm happy with myself. What makes me mad is other people aren't. They're going to make fun of my hair. They're going to make fun of um, my face, my features, my lips, my crooked teeth. They used to be straight, so I stopped wearing a retainer. Like, they, following the orthodox rule, um suggestion my body has just everything I had to wear the thickest pads on my bra because I had nursed for three years and I had my nipples sticking out like this I've had a naturopath say that she I don't know she'll fire her receptionist for having nipples showing in their shirts can you imagine wearing a nice white shirt 
and the air conditioner's blowing on you, you just get the chills, and you're, you're not saying, gee, I'm gonna walk around with, like, I'm gonna put rubber bands on my nipple and make them stick out all the time, it's like, you're not even noticing it, and it's like, literally, if you're wearing a bra, or not, it, like, you would have to wear a jacket over it in the middle of summer or whatever, winter or whatever, or a push-up, not a push-up bra, but a padded bra that you had to pay a lot of money. And, like, I'm surprised that I have these little sports bra things, but people aren't looking at my body. When I'm having menses, it's like when dogs are in heat and the other dogs are attracted. I get really scared because I do get these looks like, and these men are, I'm scared because I've been raped before. And it's, again, it's not about even lust. It's not even about, oh, love or, oh, I want to think that person's easy because she's unattractive. It's, like, really scary for me because it's that, it's, it's not a good primal, it's a, it's a primal look. It's the thing that helps humans and other animals keep the process going so that we don't ex extinguish ourselves with extinction from not having relations who's interested in having hetero relations or and or IVF or whatever you have to do because it doesn't, whatever the different ways of not even just creating a fertilized egg, but to grow up that child. Two moms, two dads, one mom, zero parents, I don't know, orphanage, whatever. But, um, it's, it's sickening for me to be feeling this way day after day and just not feeling comfortable at home because when I work at home for myself, I make more money. And money starts piling in, and I start, I start um, getting a lot of phone calls from my business, business, all my businesses, not just the notary one. And uh, I feel like people think it's playtime. Oh, you're sitting at home doing nothing. No, I have like right under you. There's a box here for. Um, it it kind of helps my computer. I, it's not like the stand-up desk. I have a bunch of papers, all you can get all these papers that I grab up, so this stuff that's just neglected. I got a scanner in the middle, I got a scanner, color, um, ink jet printer, I thought, I was wondering where my paper punch was, about the eBay boxes that I was going to fold up some, um, nothing, there's no chair here anymore, I can't sit here anyway, this table is a mess, I have another printer in that closet, a bunch of office supplies I got. Another printer in the other room with a bunch of office supplies that like I shouldn't be in there. And I'm trying to think of where. Oh, I have another crate with a bunch of paper. I didn't put the. I found some more paper. I just bought some paper, um, legal size, and I wanted to put that in the crate. Actually, I didn't want. To, I didn't care about it. But I wanted to get some eight and a half. I did care about it. I wanted to get eight and a half by eleven letter paper, because I was like, oh, I'm, I've been going through that left and right, and then I go through a couple, I mean, if you do a signing, and it's 160 pages, and they got the last one that was 120 or 30, so it was like 61 legal, 65 letter, times two, so, so you are printing 120, mostly reams have 500, but then I think I had two jobs that week, so I feel like, You're going to use at least half, of, if you're doing that just a couple times a week, you're going to use half a ream of paper a week if you don't mess up. And they're going to use, you're going to do four jobs a week like that. You're going to use a whole ream every week. And even if you only have a couple weeks a month like that, you're going to use two reams of legal a month. And you're going to use maybe one, two, three reams of, of, of letter. Um... Especially if you do something like I have and mess up and have to reprint it. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping for that universal gift. And because I can't sleep and I'm able to go wash these clothes 
Um, speaking about that game, I had tried to tell the counselor that I needed professional clothing because of these jobs. I had tried to do professional clothing in Oregon and in Maryland, trying to find a job. Um, since 2019, I've applied for approximately 450 jobs. Um, a lot in Portland while I was working, all the time in Portland, every day, every day here. Um, it sucks. And I went to a couple of inter interviews with that play. One was paying really good money, and it was part-time. And the other one, I assume it was a similar job, director of a medical facility. I was just like a slob. I had a too small shirt on. I had awkward kind of coat on. I don't even know what pants I had on because I don't even own any slacks. And I went through this crate and there's a raggedy pair, couple pair. There's like a size 18. So I don't know. There's some really big clothes. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try them on. I prefer, I watched, I read this article that said, why do certain people look good all the time? Like they're talking about like women. And it's not because of their size, not just because they're thin or whatever. And they're saying, hey, some of these people, they're going to try on the clothes or keep trying clothes. And when they see something that matches them, not just their body, but the color, even style, it goes together. Then they wear that. For me, it's like, oh my God, I got to be somewhere. What's the first jacket? Oh, wait, it's a little bit cold. I might go try to find a warmer one with socks. I used to wear everything clean. Who knows if I went to a job interview with something that was stuffy. If I'm washing stuff with no dryer, you know how stuffy that smells? It stinks. You don't use regular detergent. It doesn't smell like fresh and clean. And I don't have my hair done. My nails are disgusting. My teeth, the dentist refused to clean. They're not hygienist. And I don't use antiperspirant. I use deodorant, but not antiperspirant, so I could have sweat because um, I don't like aluminum. So I'm using um, also powders that probably have something in them too, like that makes your clothing get kind of not greasy, but they, it's like baking soda, like paste just gets sweat mixed with baking soda or whatever they have in this, like aluminum. Oh, sorry, not on the moon, like, um, so sodium bicarbonate, like when you make a paste to try to scrub the stain out of something, and then it's just like hardens, you know, like that, and darkens. Um, so I found a few clothing items in there that were pretty big, either too small or too big, not my size, because there's hard to have a size between large and extra large. Um, I'm refusing to get any more bigger than the extra large um, because they don't fit right, but I'm not losing weight with eating kale, mushrooms, a few nuts, um, water, some tea, so I'm going to have to do, in fact, I'm going to go pause you and start my tea water and make a detox tea. Um, I might make a poopy one too. I'll probably do that tomorrow. So... I just feel like all the other times I felt like this, I cried, I freaked out, I wanted to go walking around at night. Um, I don't know why I'm so itchy. I wanted to go walking around. I think it's, it could be these ants. Ugh. I wanted to go walking around at night and I was sleeping on the floor and I was like, one time my partner got in a fender bender on one of these nights as he couldn't sleep because we were all riled up so that's why i'm glad that i have another room to go to at i was thinking about this house that was on facebook it was a small house and everyone's like oh i'd rather live in that cozy it's like a one room cabin that was like this tall and everyone's like oh look how clean it is it doesn't matter if you're poor and people are like they're not poor it's like a black couple they're not poor that's how everybody lived. And they're like, oh, I'd rather live there than in a wealthy person's mansion. Because a mansion would be cold for all these different reasons. Not just, like, physically, but mentally. And I was like, a mansion would probably have a whole bunch of fireplaces in every room. And it, it this house had wall, uh, the walls were covered with newspaper. So I'm like, it'd probably be insulated. It'd probably be brick. It'd probably have some sort of whatever they did in the 1800s or I mean, there was a photograph. It looks staged to me anyway. But I was like, 
if the rich wanted to live like that, they'd be living in a little one-room cabin too, you know, like a nicer one. But then they decided to live in a four-story mansion on a plantation somewhere, you know, with their servants. And if they don't feel warm, they're going to have furs and, you know, fancy thick clothing, not rags and potato sacks and junk, you know what I'm saying? Like literal junk. So I think when I decide to try to go to sleep, or if I can, I'm going to wash my hair and everything. But I just feel like... I told my partner I wanted to, like... I was doing paperwork all day, all day, all day. From the minute I woke up, I put the printer by the bed. That's how tired and sick I've been feeling, nauseous. My back has been out in more than one spot. And do you ever do work when you're at work, driving around, or you're at home doing work, taxes, paperwork, not having food? I'm, you guys don't see me here with the takeout packages anymore that I was getting from all these um, restaurants on the western shore. And you come home and you need to decompress. You want to play a game, look at the news, read your emails. You need to just like, and just need to lay down, drink some water, and just chill the heck out for a few minutes. But then your family is expecting you to be like a robot, and they want something from you. And then they just like, fine, she's being a jerk. And then finally you calm down, and they just ignore you. Well, you're mean. And you're just like, I told you when I have go from one job to the next to the next, or I'm doing work, I'm doing billing, I'm doing taxes, that I am on a roll, and I am like this all day. I'm not in an office job where they're like, you have a mandatory 30-minute break, and plus two 15-minute breaks. Like I, like, I don't have that. You're self-employed. You don't get sick days. Nobody helped me in COVID. They should help you. If you didn't get COVID till 2022, and you missed three weeks of work, you should get some kind of support. Is it my fault I didn't get it in 2020? Like, are they just saying, oh, a bunch of people got in 2020 and 2021 and 2022? Don't keep giving them funding. Let me do some laundry. Hold on. I hear some stories from men um, where their partners, women, would cheat on them because they're not getting their needs met. And I don't necessarily... I think some of it is that primal, like like that people want relations to try to act like a like they have some deep that could be more like a it's your hormones and wild animal your actions what you're programmed to people say oh we're humans we're not animals so we should eat cooked food animals don't eat cooked food like but <laughs> but we're still like a bear have two eyes two nostrils one mouth one tongue two ears one heart, you know what I mean? Like one stomach. It's similar anatomy in your urinary, general urinary tract. Come on now. You got extremities that are very similar. You got hair and nails and lashes and stuff that are very similar to an animal. Like, why wouldn't you primer, like inside? We use perfumes and sprays and people cut off their hormones and their periods and they have this beauty that we're trained to look at, not the pheromones and hormones. And um, I feel like women, as a woman, I feel like it'd be way easier to want to go out and not be monogamous because you're being neglected and overworked. And that for men, they say it's socially acceptable for them to do things that don't involve their own partner that they say they want to be with forever. Um, I don't like it. Um, I think it's easier for the man to get their needs met than the women and that the men are not patient enough to please the women. It makes me want to cry. But I knew, I knew some women that, or sorry, some men that had their partners cheating. And I don't think they intentionally went out and said, I'm going to go stray because you're a jerk. I feel like the men just focused on what they're doing on their gaming or working or pornography or whatever. And could have given 
a few more minutes or a couple hours more per day to your partner for your appreciation. It's not all about you. Your partner is probably helping you to be fed and helping you maintain housing and helping you make sure you get up for your job so you don't get fired, evicted, and end up sleeping on a ground with your belongings in a grocery cart. Like, and it works both ways. We can support each other. Kids motivate us. Babies cry at night and get used to being up like this. You don't want to be... Um, I, I usually end up getting sick. But you end up having, let's say sexually, your body's really excited. Like, not stimulated, but it's like, hey, man, this is getting old fast. Something needs to give here, you know? And even if it's like you're alone and something happens, it's not the same as a bond. And I feel like if you're being neglected and you're like this, then other people, women will make fun of you and try to snatch your partner saying, oh, he doesn't take care of you anyways. Let me show him how to pate, you know? And other men, when he's looking at her, trying to seduce, other men will look at her and try to jump in line and jump, elbow the other guys out of the way and your partner is still looking at this other woman like on the matrix the woman in the red dress were you looking at her or what you look are you paying attention to blah 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 like look again and they had like a gun to his head and that's where stuff goes down sometimes even myself was not everybody but i act stupid and let the person get away with it dust your feet of that place and get the heck out wash your hands of that if that's what you agree to that's one thing when people start going behind your back and you say i gave and i went without for months years decades and you decide to fall for someone who says hey that type of man he's got nice clothes he's clean cut he's got a vehicle that costs more than mine i don't know and He's got to have some kind of money or something that I can have or I got daddy problems and they're going to use their thick hair and that skinny body and that fluffy eyelashes and that's what it's going to be. I tried doing my eyelashes at summer once and this guy was not falling for it. <laughs> it's like an idiot still to this day. But it doesn't work for me. A lot of women know that they are attractive because they're trained we're trained to say that that type of woman's attractive so i feel like when you read stories sometimes they are christian and it's a little bit a lot of you better get married and you better not cohabitate and you better not have kids out of wedlock and blended families and all the problems and black mothers single black mothers and all the problems with teenage pregnancy and freaking prison sons and all this stuff what you gotta do, guys, is they will say certain things you have to take with a grain of salt about, I mean, it doesn't matter if you're hetero or homo or poly or bisexual. If you have a community, even if it's you or another person, there's strengths. If this person gets sick, this person can help. And this person loses a job, this person can help. If this person has a relative that's good at accounting, then it could help. If this person had a bunch of kids and this one didn't, then that person has a chance to be a parent and to be like useful. Like we're so trained that our use is to be busy. So I see a lot of retired people say, oh, I gotta be busy. Um, so I'm gonna read this horoscope and um, something's telling me to try to chill the heck out because I'm not a day sleeper and I have a pile of clothes on the floor and my work pants that I didn't want to wash but I use porta potties and stuff so even though I roll them up for that reason I wanted to hem them what I'm going to do is um, hem the, these pants I don't care if it's like 15 minutes and it looks crooked as heck and I have to take it out and redo it in two months Get that stuff up off the ground. Try the pants on clean. Like, take a shower. Try the pants on clean. Wash my hair. Roll them up. Pin them. And sell them. And don't cut them. And then do the same thing. They'd be better if you cut them. I actually have a pair that are supposed to be him. They have the zig... Um, what is that? They have that zigzag cut that 
I never see those kind of scissors that parents used to have, mothers used to have. Astrology.com horoscope slash daily. This says Aries. How did I get Aries? So my dear Libra, I'm on for stop. I'm on what post this video of late night angry man. I don't know how Aries came up. Okay, so I didn't even realize that. Um, Libra Daily hor Horoscope for April 4th. Gravitate towards toward the structures that make sense to you today, dear Libra. Rather than rules and agendas that have been forced on you, you'll find that moving through the day on your terms is freeing and brings you to more efficient to a more efficient place. A sweet connection between the Taurus, Moon, and Pluto this evening could inspire you to hide at home, driven by the promise of cozy PJs and your favorite show. Just make sure you cut some time out for your spiritual practices before bed as the moon begins its journey through Gemini. Interesting. And your solar ninth house. Let me read it again, silently. So, what I thought of that last sentence about the spiritual practice before bed is I brought my Al-Anon book, I'm on Step 11, <clears throat> Prayer and Meditation, and I was wanting to do my meeting, my NA meeting on Zoom, so I think that's what I'm going to do. It's almost midnight. Um... There's so many words I want to use, but I have to, I don't have to, but I want to keep everyone else that is going through my mind anonymous, you know, just talk about how I'm getting through this. And the reason I'm sharing this video is because I am feel alone and um, friendless and itchy why am i so itchy my legs are like super ashy oh my gosh this is so bad oh, that's a problem too when you have long nails and it's like it creates the worst problem i gotta put some coconut oil i need to get some more shea butter mine is rancid and i, I try to make some out of it i found my cocoa or my um bee non-vegan bee wax, beeswax pellets, so I'm going to try to make a, um, some kind of waxy for my hair so it's not necessarily greasy, but not watery and not too greasy, but I don't know, so I'm in between moisturizer to get my hair to grow and stop breaking off. Um, I never cut my hair, it should be really long, but according to science, but it is definitely like longer than it has been in a long time. You see how short it is, though. These are the braided ones, and these are the unbraided. This breaks right off just from being putting hats on and hoods and sleeping. My legs are unbearably itchy. I'm making this video because it's really depressing, and I want to go out. And going out at night like this is not necessarily safe. We're getting the, um, what you call it, where, um, getting used to the dangers and the thefts and the, um, the desperation, the war, the pestilence, the famine, the lack of energy, or control of energy, petroleum and all that stuff. So I feel like desensitized. We're, we're needing each other and a lot of your strengths are different. All of ours are different. So trying to for me to try to tap into the universe and the spiritual connect is helping me. Um, I don't quiet my brain, really. I have pretty vivid dreams. They're being controlled by medicine because 
I have P really severe PTSD from being abused and raped, um, years of abuse and rape and systemic racism, and I was having night sweat, nightmares, screaming every night until I got on a medication, and I would actually like to personally, again, thank that doctor for having me be able to sleep, except for nights like this, so I guess I will say insomnia and female issue check-in. Peace.